Maria Makil is 85 years old. She was born in Deir Yassin village and survived the massacre committed by far-right Jewish underground forces. But six members of her family were executed, including her mom and dad. Maryam says it was her brother who raised the alarm to the 600 residents when the Jews stormed the village on April the 9th, 1948. My brother was tall, but he was 16 years old. Because he was tall, he looked older. Jews entered my sister's house and took my brother and asked him how many Jews he killed in the Battle of Kassel. My sister told the Jew he was a student, but the Jew wanted to shoot him. So my sister wanted to bribe him to save my brother's life. The Jew accepted the money and he pushed my brother to the ground and put five bullets in his head. By the end of the day, 107 Palestinians living in the village had been killed, including many women and children. It's considered one of the bloodiest incidents of the Palestine-Israel conflict. According to historian Walid Khalidi, four prominent Israeli intellectuals wrote Israel's founding father, Ben Gurion, asking that the village be left empty in remembrance of what happened here. But their appeals were ignored. Jewish settlers changed the name of the village to Givat Shaul and Israelis settled here. Their construction has since spread across the eastern sector of what was once Deir Yassin. Testimonies show that the Jewish militia's aim was to break through the blockaded road to Jerusalem. But the villagers put up a stiffer resistance than was expected. Initial plan was to conquer the village. Uh, and what happened later, uh, the massacre, uh, according to historical research, uh, was not premeditated. Mariam was 12 years old when the massacre happened. My brother saw a girl. She was a teacher in our village, but she wasn't living in the village. My brother told him, do you want to die in here? I will take you to your home. While they were moving towards her house, they saw an injured man. She wanted to give him first aid. My brother said, don't do it. She did. While she was giving the first aid, she was shot and killed. She hasn't forgotten a single detail. And after all these years, still wants to go back and live in the house she fled. Mustafa Fatih, OSTR World, West Jerusalem.